Pete to the relay station. He's hurt bad. Okay. Hey, mister. Just a minute, mister. Would you do me a big favor? I'm Elmer Kirby, and I'm out here from the east, and I'm awful anxious to get a picture of a stagecoach hold up. Well, you just missed one. If you'd have been with us, you could have took a picture of the whole local gang. Yeah, yeah, I know, but we could pretend we're taking one if if, uh, if you'd be willing to pose as one of the outlaws. Me? Oh, sure. You've got just a face for it. You'd be a lot better than they would. No kidding. Hell? Sure. Oh, well, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it won't take a minute. I'd be terribly obliged. You see, I want the picture for my album. Well, all right. <laughs> I better wire the sheriff of Pokerville about the holdout. Hey, by the way, what's his name? Jim Lindsay. Yeah, that's it. You stay here, Bullet. Uh, now put the mask on, Mr. Brady, like one of the real outlaws. Could you move just a little closer to the coach, Mr. Brady, please? Hey, Elmer. How about me pulling this thing down like it sort of slipped, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Now, Mr. Brady, could, could, could you please flourish your gun? Do what? Pull it out. Oh, oh. Well, I could pretend like I was shooting from the hip. Or, or, or maybe I could pretend like I was fanning it, huh? Yeah. How's this, Elmer? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Now, uh, I thought that, uh, I, I thought if you didn't mind it, I could kind of grab your hand here so it looked like I was trying to take the gun away from you. Hey, I thought you said this was going to be my picture. Well, it is. My back is practically to the camera, and, and I'd like for it to look like I'm trying to disarm you. Oh, I see. Is this for your album, too? No, it's for my mother. She thinks I'm still in knee pants and can't take care of myself. Well, I think she's got something there, but <laughs> go ahead. Oh, swell. Now, look, I'll put this under my arm, this uh -huh. bulb, and when I say hold it, you freeze. All right. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hold it. All aboard for Pokerville. Well, thanks a lot, Mr. Brady. Thanks a lot. I will not go home. I'm on my way to visit Aunt Agatha. But those outlaws may make another try for the strong box. That's exactly why I'm going along, to see it safely to the bank. Dad's cattle money is in it. Don't forget to send me one of them pictures, Elmer. Well, I won't. One thanks two or three times, Mr. Brady. Okay. Pat, I'll follow the coach on into town. I'll meet you back here later.
Hurry, Jeb. Okay, Phil, search him. Does that order include me, Sheriff? Why, Miss Dale. Howdy. Sheriff, this is Roy Rogers. Roy, Sheriff Lindsay. How do you do, Sheriff? Howdy. That's a good-looking dog you got there. Thanks. Hey, Bullet, you better be nice to him. He's the law. <laughs> Say, he's smart as a whip. You ought to set him on the Opal Gang, which reminds me. Thanks for sending that telegram. If Mark Opal does come this way, he'll get a mighty warm welcome. I'm going out now to see if I can pick up the trail. I'll keep in touch with you. See that she keeps out of trouble if you can. Oh. Sure thing, Roy. Sorry to trouble you, Miss Dale. Let me help you back in. Thank you, Sherry. Carrying any concealed weapons, Mr. Kirby? Uh, I don't happen to have one with me this trip. But you can search me if you want to. <laughs> Say, uh, is there any uh, place around here where a fella can have a little fun? Well, let's see. There's a snake bite saloon a couple of miles out of town. But if you take my advice, you'll stay out of there. It's the toughest place this side of glory. The snake bite saloon. Wow. So there I am, see, standing by the stage when this masked bandit comes up. Reach, he orders. So I grabbed his gun and started grappling with him. And in the fight, his mask comes off and there I am, looking right into the face of the masked bandit himself, Mark Opal. Whew, too bad he got away. I could have used that reward. Yeah, that reminds me of the time I shot Jesse James. Have another bottle of sarsaparilla, boy? Oh, so you don't believe me, huh? Sure, sure, I believe you. Well, take a look at this. What'd you find out, Opal? Not a chance. The sheriff's got the town sewed up tighter than a drum. We'd have to blast our way in. Yeah, and with that bank just chucked full of gold, waiting for somebody to stick it up. Now, let's get inside. How'd you ever take a picture like this? Well, I had my camera all set up. And when he come up, I had the bulb hit under my arm and took a picture of him. And Mark Opal never even knew it. I'll say he didn't. Let me see that. So this is Mark Opal? Sure. You got your camera with you? Well, it's right outside my truck. Any man that can outsmart Mark Opal deserves to be rewarded. Boys, take this gentleman over to the table and buy him all the sarsaparilla he can drink. Well, thanks a lot. You know, if somebody were to take this picture to the sheriff, he might get a piece of the reward. Reward? Yeah. Mark Oval. Now we know what he looks like. Find the fellow that took that picture and bring him to my office. with that Opal gang of carousing around. Maybe I better brush up on my target practice. Let's see now, how does he do it? Load the can up like a fast draw. Shoot! <gasps> mm -hmm. Well, quit tearing up the furniture, Phineas. I ain't gonna shoot you. That shot came from over the hill. Let's take a look.
Hey, Sheriff! Sheriff Lindsay! Wait! Go ahead, Al. What are you trying to do? Help Mark Opal to get away? Well, that's not Mark Opal. That's Pat Brady, my foreman. I don't care if he's your grandfather. I got a picture of him holding up the stage. A picture of, of Pat? Yes, Pat. Jack Navy, let me go. What do you think you're doing anyway, you bunch of jugheads? Roy, you tell him. I ain't no owl who tell these hollow horn whistle brain mavericks who I am. He told me we're taking you back to town. Get going. Oh, that jump. False arrest, that's what it is. Kirby, where you been? We've been hunting the town for you. Who's this fellow with you? Oh, uh, I'm his partner. Ain't that right, Elmer? That's right. Yeah, I've been waiting for him for about a week down by the creek bed. Ain't that right, Elmer? Yeah, that's right. What's in the wagon? Elmer, go on, tell him. Well, uh, it's a dark room for, for developing pictures. <laughs> yeah, uh, pictures took and developed while you wait. In fact, uh, we'll take one of you for free. Say, I wouldn't mind. Uh, some other time, the sheriff wants to see you, Kirby. Come on, Elvin, let's get to the bank. You're pretty smooth, but you're not going to get away with it. <laughs> For the thousandth and one time. Ah, I don't know nothing about that robbery. And I ain't Mark Opal. I ain't nobody except Patrick Aloysius Brady. Me. But you can't suspect Pat. He wasn't even in town when the bank was robbed. No. Of course not. He was acting as a decoy to keep me away. With just his hard luck, he got caught. Oh. Sheriff! Roy! Oh. I'll take over now. Get anything out of him, pal? There isn't anything in him to get out. Well, of course not. This is ridiculous. I've known Pat for years. Yeah, she sure has. Years and years. Say, this man's your foreman? Yes. And when you're away, do you leave me in charge of the ranch? Why, certainly. Then how do you know he hasn't been leading a double life? Oh. Listen, Pat has enough trouble leading one life, let alone two. Yeah, I sure do. How do you explain that? Sheriff, Pat told you how that picture came to be taken? Told him? I shouted, whistled, and whispered until my voice was wore to a shatter. I might have believed you if we'd have found Oma Kirby, and if he'd have backed up your story, and until we do find him, you're staying here in the custody of the law. Look, them Al Hoots is going to kidnap poor Elmer, and if you don't find him, well, I'm liable to spend the rest of my life here in custody. <laughs> Roy. Make him let me out of here. Sheriff, you're holding him on insufficient evidence, and you know it. Yes, sir, and you have no right to jail an innocent man. I'm holding him for questioning, and that is that. Now, both of you, clear out. Oh. Don't worry, Pat. <laughs> if he wasn't the law, I'd give him a lesson in good manners. Yeah. Looks like we'll just have to find Elmer. If he's with those outlaws, I hope I find him alive. Be careful, Roy. I will. Come on, boy. All right, now we'll just a little over to your left. That's it. Achoo! See, I told you every time I ride in the back of my truck, I catch a cold. Well, I'm sorry, Elma, but we couldn't stop. We was being chased. Oh, I... Oh, quit leaning on the table. Just put your hand on it. Easy. In the next one, how about me sitting in a chair reading a book or something? Or maybe I could put my hand in my shirt like one of them fancy generals. Well, guys, you fellas act like you never had your picture taken before. Well, we don't dare. You see, the law might get a hold of them and use them against us. 
But there's no danger of that happening with you, is there? No, <laughs> certainly not. I'll take all the pictures you want. Elmer? Hey, Elmer, hold it. Think... Okay, relax. That hole in the wall is going to make the best dark room you ever had, Elmer. Yeah, we got everything all set up for you. Somebody's coming. Get me the rifle, Chad. Roy! Roy! There's a mob gathered in town to lynch Pat because of the killing of that bank cashier. Well, this is one party. Pat isn't going to attend. Come on. He's going away. Oh, no. Hey, Elmer! They must be taking Pat to the Milltown Jail. Yeah. From the looks of the dust on the horizon, they're being followed. I reckon we gave that necktie party the slip, all right? Yeah, and it was my neck they were going to tie. Ah, uh, get going. Like I'm gonna have to save Pat from being saved. I'm going with you, Roy. You better put your hair under your hat that the sheriff will recognize you. Right. You better stay here, Bullet. <coughs> the sheriff will recognize you, too. Twenty years for this. All of you. Take his gun, Brady. Time to this tree. Hey, Phil! Uh, get me out of here. What happened to you, Sheriff? Well, a couple of Opal's gang sucked me up and took Brady. Brady in my eye. If he's not Mark Opal, I'll eat my badge. The necktie party picked uh, up your trail. They're nosing our heels right now. Hey, Al, get back to them. Lead them on a wild goose chase. Me and Phil go after Opal. Give me a gun. Elm has sure been in that dark room an awful long time. Well, it takes time to develop pictures. Say, fellas, why don't we have our pictures took together? I could be in the middle. Yeah. No, no, I'm going to be in the middle. We could have our arms around each other. Or maybe we could look sideways with our head over our shoulder. Well, that ain't so good. Well, let's ask Elmer. Yeah, hey, Elmer. Elmer, how'd those pictures come out? Did you get that one of me where I got the hat on the back of my head? Is that supposed to be me? How do I look, Elmer? Well, uh, some of them come out good, but, but I'd like to take a whole bunch of them. I think these pictures are great, Elmer. I didn't know I looked like that. Look at me with a beard. Hey, look. these pictures are real good. Hey, get a load of this. Here's me with my hand on my gun. Look at that silly grin you got on your face. But where's that side view you took of me, huh? Hey, what are you doing at that window? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's that guy again. He's brought his whole gang with him. You can't kill him. You can't kill him. Got him, boys. Hey. Come on, get him in there. You stay here, Dale. If you have any trouble, go for the sheriff. Right. Stay worth a bullet. Oh, 
shucks, it looks like we've been following the wrong trail. Yeah. This place doesn't seem to have been lived in for ages. Well, come on, Pat, let's go. The back of that closet's a fake. just captured the Opal Gang. <laughs> so long, Elmer. You be careful from now on. And don't take any more of those trick pictures. Well, I won't, Mr. Rogers. I learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> you know, trying to be what we're not sometimes gets us into a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, goodbye. That there goes for you too, Pat. Well, I was only trying to help. Well, but... I... well, now look here, Pat. Just about all I can take from you in the Opal game. And I'm telling you right now that. Well, now listen, Pat. I've fought the Opal game and I've fought them and I've fought them and I don't want to fight them no more. And that goes for you too. <laughs> Happy trails to you.